Imagine a world where crocodiles sprinted like racehorses, whales walked on land, and penguins towered over humans. Evolution has transformed life on Earth in ways that seem almost unreal. From land-roaming whales to prehistoric giants, these changes are so extreme they defy belief. Today, we're diving deep into the shocking transformations that shaped the animal kingdom as we know it. Welcome to World Decoded, where we uncover the most fascinating and unexpected truths in history, science, and beyond. If you enjoy this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with fellow knowledge seekers. With that being said, let's get started. Let's start with whales and dolphins. It's almost impossible to imagine these massive marine creatures as land-dwelling mammals, but their ancestor Pachycetus was just that. Around 50 million years ago in what is now South Asia, this wolf-like creature about the size of a large dog roamed both land and water, hunting near rivers and lakes. Unlike modern whales, it had legs, external ears, and sharp teeth for catching prey. As competition for food increased on land, some of its descendants adapted to aquatic life. Their limbs transformed into flippers, nostrils shifted to the top of their heads to form blowholes, and their bodies grew massive to survive the ocean depths. Fast forward 10 million years and we get Ambulocetus, the walking whale, which had webbed feet and could move between land and water like a crocodile. By the time Basilosaurus appeared around 40 million years ago, whales had become full-time sea predators, yet they still retained tiny, useless back legs, a haunting reminder of their terrestrial past. Now let's talk about crocodiles. Today they lurk in swamps, waiting to ambush their prey. But their ancestors were fast, agile, and land-dwelling. Meet Ephigia, a crocodilian from 200 million years ago in North America. This creature didn't slink through the water, but sprinted on long and slender legs, actively hunting prey like a dinosaur. It had a beak-like mouth and lacked the heavy armor of modern crocs, making it faster and more agile. Some early relatives even walked upright, resembling large reptiles that could chase down their meals. But as dinosaurs took over the land, crocodilians adapted to aquatic life, evolving into the stealthy ambush predators we know today. Sloths, too, have a surprising backstory. We see them today as small and slow tree-dwelling creatures, but their ancestors were massive and formidable. Meet Megatherium, the giant ground sloth of South America. Weighing over four tons and stretching up to 20 feet, this elephant-sized beast used its massive claws for digging and self-defense. Unlike today's sloths, which rely on stealth and camouflage, Megatherium could stand on its hind legs to reach high branches and fend off predators like saber-toothed cats. But as forests expanded and food sources shifted to treetops, evolution favored smaller and more agile climbers. Over millions of years, the mighty Megatherium shrank into the slow-moving and tree-hugging sloths we know today and coming to the little penguins. You might think of them as adorable, waddling birds, but millions of years ago, they were actually giants. Palaeodipts, which lived 37 million years ago in Antarctica and New Zealand, stood over six feet tall and weighed around 200 pounds. These prehistoric penguins were powerful swimmers, using their wings as flippers to chase prey. Unlike modern penguins, which rely on their smaller size for agility in the water, these ancient giants likely had fewer predators and could dominate the ocean. Their large size also helped them conserve body heat in icy waters, a crucial adaptation for survival. But as environmental pressures changed and competition for resources increased, smaller species had the advantage, leading to the penguins we see today. Elephants, too, have an astonishing evolutionary past. Their ancestors looked nothing like today's tusk giants. More Ethereum, which lived 37 million years ago in North Africa, was more like a hippo-sized pig. It had short legs, a long snout, and no trunk, thriving in swampy environments. Unlike modern elephants, more Ethereum likely spent much of its time in water, using its elongated nose as a primitive snorkel. As landscapes changed and forests gave way to grasslands, their descendants grew larger, developed longer snouts that eventually became trunks, and evolved thick skin to survive harsh climates. 
Over time, these changes allowed them to become the massive, intelligent herbivores we recognize today, capable of thriving in diverse environments across Africa and Asia. Sharks, on the other hand, have been around for over 400 million years, but the early versions were almost unrecognizable. Cladus Lake, one of the earliest sharks from 370 million years ago, had smooth and bony plates instead of replaceable teeth. These ancient sharks also had stiff armored bodies rather than the sleek and flexible forms we see today. Instead of lurking in the deep and ambushing the prey, they were fast swimming open water hunters. Over millions of years, sharks evolved sharper teeth and better hydrodynamics and became the ultimate ocean predators. Some species like the massive megalodon reached lengths of over 60 feet, dominating prehistoric seas before eventually going extinct. And then we have snakes, creatures that weren't always the slithering reptiles we know. Their ancestors actually had legs. Meet Najash, a reptile from 100 million years ago in South America, which still had functioning back legs and a pelvis. It was a burrowing predator, using its limbs to push through the loose soil. As these creatures adapted to underground life, legs became a disadvantage, getting in the way of efficient movement. Over time, evolution eliminated them, leading to the sleek, limbless snakes of today. Some modern snakes, like pythons and boas, still have tiny vestigial leg bones hidden inside their bodies, a fascinating clue to their evolutionary history. Speaking of unexpected relatives, did you know that hippos are whales' closest living cousins? Their ancestors, like Anticotherium, lived about 40 million years ago and looked like a mix between a pig and a deer. Unlike modern hippos, which are built for life in the water, these early relatives were fully terrestrial. Over time, some species adapted to semi-aquatic lifestyle, developing webbed feet and powerful jaws. Eventually, some of their descendants ventured even further into the water, leading to the ancestors of modern whales, while others evolved into the hippos we see today. This evolutionary link explains why hippos are such strong swimmers and why they share so many physiological traits with whales, despite their vastly different appearances. From Pachycetus to modern whales, Ephigia to crocodiles, and Pallidips to the day's penguins, evolution is a never-ending story of adaptation and survival. It's mind-blowing to think that the animals we see today were once completely different creatures, shaped by millions of years of relentless natural selection. If you enjoyed this journey through evolution's wildest transformations, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to World Decoded, and share it with your friends. There's so much more to uncover, and I can't wait to bring you even more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.